Hello beautiful viewers, in today's tutorial video I'll be showing you how to use CryptoRank. CryptoRank is a crypto aggregator that helps you find those hidden gems. It allows you to sort coins by a comprehensive range of different statistics like market cap, categories, volume and a whole lot more. So guys, let's quickly get into it. To use CryptoRank, you download it either from Google Store or Apple Store depending on the device you have. You click on create an account option, input your email address and a password. I've already set up my account so I'll just open it. So guys, after setting up your CryptoRank account, I'm sure your interface will be like this. So let's click on the icon at the top left of our screen. We could see account settings and community, right? As for the account, um, it's where you get to change your password or delete your account or log out if you wish. Settings, you get to change the language to your preferred language. You get to change the main currency, that's the fiat, to either euro or any other currency of your choice. You could get you get to change the crypto to other crypto assets. It could be ETH, USDT, or USD, USDC. As for the community, it's where you get to share the app with your friends. It's where you get to review the app. Or you get to follow them on their Twitter or their other social media handles. You could get to file a report if you want to. You could also get to read about them, their privacy policy and their terms and condition. So guys, let's head back to the home and interface. So guys, this is the home interface. Um, from the middle top of the screen, you could see BTC dominance, ETH gas, currencies, mar global market cap, and 24 hour spot volume, guys. Now let's head to the bottom left of our screen. We could see the home icon, we could see coins, we could see um, crypto rank icon, which is in the middle. We could see portfolio and watch list so let's click on coins guys when you click on coins you get to see the, all of the list of all the coins that have been listed on crypto rank you also get to see the coins or projects that are in the gainers lists when you click on gainers you get to see the coins or projects that are in the losers list that's when you click on losers you also get to see the projects that just hit or reached their new all-time high which is new ATH it's an acronym for all-time high you also get to see a um, project that just hit their new all-time low which is new ATL guys so let's head back to all coins so for the purpose of this video I'll be clicking on um, BNB so when you click on BNB let's click on view all you get to see its current price as at the time of making this video the price of bnb is 410 dollars um, its market cap is 63 billion dollars and its all-time high market cap which was in 7th november 2021 is 105.95 billion dollars it's volume 24 hour trading volume is 1.02 billion its volume slash market cap is 0 0.0163 the supply the supply the circulating supply of bnb is 153.886 million and its total supply it's 153.86 million to price history its all-time high as at 10th may 2021 was 688.62 dollars and its all-time low was um in first august 2017 which was 0 0.0961 it's 24 hour high is 414.11 dollars while its 24 hour low is 402.91 dollars so guys you could click on any project token or coin of your choice to have an insight of that particular uh project for the purpose of your research so after coins guys let's click on this crypto rank icon 
you get to see funding rounds you get to see uh when you click on funding rounds you get to see projects that are trying to raise money and the method they intend to use in raising those funds and when you click on token sales you get to see uh active past and upcoming idos icos and ieos idos um is an acronym for initial decentralized exchange offering while ico is an acronym for initial coin offering when you click on alerts you get to create and manage prize alerts and when you click on earn you get to earn spaceships and get rewards let give, let's give it a try i've already um collected my spaceship already so when you click on insights and news it's where you get to read crypto news and reports guys so that's it on this particular icon this particular crypto rank icon so after this let's click on portfolio it's where you get to create your first create your first portfolio to keep track of your crypto assets so let's uh try creating a web3 portfolio so let's add um paste your btc tron eth bsc or anywhere to get started so let's add our bnb wallet address bnb let's let's paste it let's click on add wallet wow that's it guys you know the interesting feature of this i just added my bnb wallet address but I used my BNB to buy Wikicart and DeFi Tiger token and that's it right here showing me. I have $7 worth of BNB and I used it to buy a dollar worth of Wikicart and I also used it to buy a um, $9 worth of Wikicart and I also used it to buy $8 worth of DeFi Tiger token which is very very amazing. When you click on allocation you get to see each represented in a pie chart. The wiki card defi tiger and the bnb you get to see the transactions that's what you swapped to receive that particular token for instance i sent 0 0.003 bnb and i swapped it for 117 million units of wiki card this is a very very interesting feature so that's it about the portfolio so let's click on watch list for the watch list you get to add projects so to add projects to your watch list you click on add coins and add whatever project you wish to add so i'll be adding wiki cards as usual my favorite project so i'll click on wiki cards save selected coins and that's it guys you've successfully added wiki cards to your watch list so um after that so let's head back to the home interface let's click on the coins icon again that's from the bottom left of the screen so guys you'll be clicking on the filters icon which is the icon below the new all-time high option that's new ATH you could see market cap volume price change trading on category and other options so guys if you want to explore this market cap option you just click on market cap and then impute the the market cap you want to impute let's say i want to make a research on a particular project that on, on projects that are between 1 million to 5 million market cap so i'll just write i'll just type 1 1 million uh, and then two i'll just type 5 million and then click on this arrow at the top left you could see that i've reset it to 1 million to 5 million market cap right if you want the volume to be let's say just uh, zero to one hundred thousand dollars all you need to do is just type it one hundred thousand dollars and click on the arrow at the top right at the top left you could get to 
set it to let's say you want only projects that are just listed on binance or gate.io or coinbase you just click on binance you click on gate.io and head back if you want the category to be let's say gamefi DeFi, or meme you just click on it and click on this arrow at the top left of the screen if you want the blockchain to be just um Celo, solana if you want the project to be on the ethereum chain all you have to do is just click and head back and you are good to go guys that's it on how to fully utilize crypto rank guys i hope you'll add it to your crypto research tool thank you for watching i hope the video was helpful guys please drop your questions or comments in the comment section and don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button for more educative content bye see you in our next video